Hi traders, in today's video, I am going to show you something really, really useful, and that is how you can use Tick Data Suite in MT5. Now, as you already know, Tick Data Suite uh, officially uh, is used uh, in MT4 and it is integrated in MT4, but there is a way um, so you can use it in MT5 as well and it is very useful because I see most traders are really struggling to really test any strategy, any EA in MT5 with high quality tick data like uh, you get from tick data suite, like the 99.9% .9 quality tick data, um, the highest quality possible and most traders are testing with like like 50% data and that is not how you um, will become successful. So let's just start. First of all, you need to download Tick Data Suite and in my opinion, you should go for the Dukas copy uh, Tick Data. You can try out all the other ones as well or any of them. But in my opinion, go for the um, Dukas copy tick data. After that, just choose um, a certain pair like Euro USD um, and choose a certain period. Like for example, now I just chose um, two years because it takes a while to download and I don't want to make this video too long. And so we have um, two years of high quality data. Now with this, you can immediately test in MT4 because it is integrated in MT4. So what you should do to be able to test in MT5. Let's see. The first step is to click here after you downloaded uh, the tick data, click here and click on export ticks and just make sure you are choosing the MetaTrader 5 one of the format because otherwise it won't work. So choose that. Uh, all of the other settings are good. Uh, the next step is to choose your broker's GMT offset. I am using uh, IC Markets and it has GMT plus two and US as uh, DST. And so you should use your broker's um, specifications for this, uh, these two uh, parameters. The other ones can uh, remain the same. And you should, of course, um, you should, of course, export it like this. And it takes a while to download and to actually export these files because um, one year is approximately one gigabyte. But with this, you can see if you are not um, testing with a high quality data like this, how could you expect you, yourself, your strategy to be tested enough for the real markets? Because the big firms, the institutions, they are testing with very, very realistic environments. So you can't test with low quality tick data because then you are set yourself up to failure. You don't want that. Let's just jump into MT5. And now we are going to use tick data suite data in MT5. And I'm going to show you a little bit of testing with it as well. But um, this video is about how to use this data. So first of all, 
go to symbols then after that go to create custom symbol it is in very short it is important because yes you could overwrite euro usd but then your broker would uh, overwrite it and so you would have to like you know overwrite it again it doesn't make any sense so we are just creating a custom symbol it is easy first and it is important to do it first um, copy the characteristics from the euro, euro usd one and after that you can give a name uh, like i'm going to name it like tick data and um, after that you don't have to do anything because we copied all the information and just click ok now you have a custom euro usd uh, like instrument and now you just need to fill it with data and we already have the data from tick data suite yes you got it right and so click on import ticks and search for your file which is for me it is here very very easy it is here and yes just click ok and it is going to import all the ticks to mt5 i hope this video is um, useful for you so far let's just wait until uh, this is finished and i'm going to show you that it is working and that you can now um, do high quality tick data testing with the best data source now we have the best data source to test and to optimize our eas first of all if you don't find uh, your custom asset uh, here you can click you know add and search for it um, if you open the chart window you can already see that it is not empty and it is because we imported the data and it was successful if you just create a custom symbol but you don't import the ticks it would be completely empty but uh, we can go back to you know early 2022 and uh, our end date is like pretty much up to date so we have a good amount of uh, data to do a little bit of testing of course for myself i am always using the maximum uh, amount of data that is available but for this video it would have been like so long to do that so um, two years is enough let's see one testing because i think it is important to showcase that uh, yes we can actually now test with high quality tick data and it works with any broker you just need to know the gmt offset basically so even if a broker has like very bad tick data you can this way test with the highest quality tick data how good is that let's just wait for like i don't know a thousand uh, I just wanted to like test a little bit which one let's test this one just to see uh, what we have yes uh, it is always so good to see when you had like you know pretty much bad tick data and now it is uh, very high quality tick data and zero errors and now you can test any strategy with 
more confidence. Of course, it is not enough to test with high quality data, but it is a good start. Uh, I don't know if you want to see it, but I also show you the tick data test. It takes a while to do that, but of course, as a real trader, a real programmer, you are testing with every tick data. And so let's just wait until it is finished and I'm going to get back to you. The FDT data testing is almost finished and let's see what kind of uh, data quality we have. Yes, we have high quality tick data. And so I hope this video was useful for you. I think it is a very useful one. And many traders ask me this every, and every time, uh, every day, every year, every minute. So now you have the answer. And if you have a friend, if you have a trader fellow who, you know, doesn't know this, share this video and also like it, subscribe and comment. Ciao.